This is where Coca-Cola was first bottled anywhere in the world in 1894. So what we have is the uh, reproduction of the bottling works that was first used to bottle Coca-Cola. So you can learn how they had to make their own carbonated water. Then they had to fill the bottles. They got the syrup from Atlanta and they had to fill the bottles and they had to cap them. So you can learn all about that. We have some of the very, very early um, items that were used to get you to buy Coca-Cola. So, you know, advertisements and things like that. Um, of course, they put Coca-Cola on everything, even as far back as 1886. But then we also talk about the history of Coca-Cola itself. So we have photographs of buildings that were used to bottle Coca-Cola and the Beanhorn family because they owned uh, bottling plants in Mississippi, Texas, Louisiana, and Arkansas. And so we have pictures of those bottling plants and, and those members of the family who operated those plants. We also have um, quite a few bottles. Um, so if you're interested at all in commemorative bottles, or if you're interested in the history of the bottle itself and how it went from a blob top all the way up to what we know as the hobble skirt bottle, we have that information as well. And just that, to me, that's a really neat part of it is, is how that bottle changed through time and why it changed through time. And then just Coca-Cola memorabilia. So from a swimsuit with Coca-Cola on it to um, Santa Claus. And actually what we think of Santa Claus today, what he looked like is not just from that poem that was very famous, but how the Coca-Cola artist who drew for ads, um, how he took that information and then, and actually his own face and made what we think Santa Claus looks like today. We have a, um, a large gift, gift shop. Um, we have all kinds of items with Coca-Cola on them. We do have some historic items, um, some antique items that we sell. We all have some antique bottles that we sell, but most of it is just the, the um, new items um, from playing cards to trays, all kinds of tin items. Um, just pretty much anything you might want. We also carry Vicksburg items and some Civil War things as well. We have uh, ice cold bottles of Coke, the little bottles. They're not the six and a half anymore because they went to an eight ounce in 1994. But um, we do have the little bottles of Coca-Cola, Diet Coke, Sprite, um, Dr. Pepper. While Dr. Pepper is not a Coca-Cola actually flavor, it is bottled by Coca-Cola. So we do carry Dr. Pepper. Um, and we can, we even have the Mexican Coke, which is sugar cane Coke as opposed to being corn syrup. So that is actually what it used to taste like up until the 1980s. And then we have um, ice cream, and which we can just dish you a couple of scoops of, or we can um, do an ice cream float, which is very good, a Coke float. Or we actually also carry Bark's root beer, so in case you have to have a root beer float, we can do one of those as well. I do have a mask in my hand, but I'm not wearing it right now. Uh, we do require masks be worn throughout when you, when you walk in the door. We also have hand sanitizer. We sanitize throughout the day, and so we, we're keeping everybody safe. We have put up plexiglass to keep our employees safe. The tables that we have out front, we keep those sanitized. We'll, we'll greet you very with, with a big broad smile, glad to see you, but at the same time, um, we will make sure that you're safe here. Please come to Vicksburg, and when you come, please visit the Beanhorn Coca-Cola Museum, where Coca-Cola was first bottled anywhere in the world in 1894. Vicksburg is the key to the South.